We do not believe that reopening this costly and time-consuming public inquiry is the right way forward. I have informed Sir Brian that we are formally closing the inquiry. I, I can see this coming, but it's still uh, a, a huge disappointment because they promised it, you know, it was a promise. When it was decided in both Houses of Parliament that we would have Leveson 1 and the things that we couldn't discuss would be discussed in Leveson 2. So now Theresa May is the Prime Minister and she hasn't met once with victims of press abuse. However, she has met on multiple occasions with editors, publishers, of newspapers. We've been here many times before, broken promise after broken promise with this government. They've actually lied to us. You stood up in the House of Commons and you represented Sir Brian Leveson's position. And I think you misrepresented his position. Sir Brian, who I thank for his service, agrees that the inquiry should not proceed on the current terms of reference. Having followed the Leveson inquiry quite closely, I was disappointed to hear that Sir Brian Leveson uh, was actually in agreement and it wasn't until later that day when a letter was produced from Sir Brian Leveson that showed that he was actually totally against uh, the scrapping of Leveson Part 2. Sir Brian Leveson fundamentally disagreed with the government's conclusion. You misrepresented Sir Brian Leveson's position to the Commons. I, 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 un I understand, I, I can see that you would rather have I'd done it differently. No, what I would rather would be, would be that you were straightforward. Not only now do we have promises that have been broken, we also have ministers standing up in the House of Commons misleading their fellow politicians. I grew up thinking that if you did the right thing that the justice system would protect you, but it doesn't. If you haven't got power and money, it won't protect you. Politicians want to gain trust in the future for members of the public. They have to start delivering on the promises that they give. It's no good to meet victims of press abuse and say, we're going to do this, we're going to look after you. And a few years down the line, all those promises are forgotten.